Hi there, this is Łukasz for the Tech Travel Geeks. And today we'll go through the setup and software overview of the Poco F2 Pro by Xiaomi, including the fresh update to the MIUI 12 later on in the video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks to see more content from us. In our previous video, we went through the hardware of the Poco F2 Pro, but let's see what the setup and software look like. The Poco F2 Pro does support dual SIM cards, but let's just put my 3 UK SIM card inside for now. Unfortunately, there's no memory card support, so I'll have to make do with 128GB of storage. It should be enough, at least until I start downloading lots of games and recording 8K video. Alright, let's finally switch the phone on. Very exciting. To start with, we just need to pick the language and region. I'll go with English and UK, as that's where I'm based. I'll quickly connect to my Wi-Fi network, just to get started. There's quite a lot of terms and conditions. I'll make sure to read it thoroughly later on. The phone then quickly checked for software update. And interestingly, there were none. Little did I know that I'd get one just 24 hours later. There is an option to copy the setup from a different phone, but I just went with a fresh install from scratch. I was then prompted to log into my Google account, as Xiaomi is able to use the full Google messaging system. Then there was some two-step verification and account security. Better safe than sorry. I was then asked some data sharing questions and I personally uncheck sharing usage data, but it's entirely up to you. You can also choose between Google, Privacy Wall, Info.com and DuckDuckGo for your search. Sorry Matteo, no Bing here. I just went with Google. You can then set up your Google Assistant, but since I'd done it on my other devices, I didn't have to do it again. There's a message that I should set up my Google Pay separately, as the phone supports NFC. I'll make sure to do it later, it's a very useful feature. I was then asked to set up a Me account. I went with registering via email, but since the email client wasn't yet loaded on the Poco F2, I had to use my other phone to accept the email. Luckily, it went smoothly. You can also set the Me Cloud Sync to have everything synchronized online. Why not? There's also the Find Device option, which might come in handy. Finally, some security. Let's go with fingerprints. Before that, we need to set up a pattern. And once it's set, we can start using the underscreen fingerprint reader to record our fingerprint. The sensor is quite sensitive, and at the time of writing, I've not had any issues with it so far. You can also choose a theme. I went with the modern one to start with, you can change it at any point. And with that, we're done. Finalizing everything took 40 seconds, but I'll spare you the wait with the magic of editing. However, I have to say, the installation process was quite smooth and painless, so definitely a good start. It's the first time I'm using the MIUI launcher. But I'm sure I'll get used to it quite quickly. The app drawer is available, so at least this will keep me happy. Apps are listed alphabetically, but there are two rows of popular or relevant apps pinned to the top. You can also scroll right to see other categories of apps like messaging, entertainment, tools, etc. There's also a search bar at the bottom, which might come in handy. I have to say, there's quite a lot of apps pre-installed on the device. You get things like the weather app, Xiaomi browser, as well as the Mi Store, where you can actually buy Xiaomi devices or accessories. Maybe I'll finally get the new Mi Band 5 and start exercising more. You also get a few games to play when you're bored. Then there's a number of popular apps like Facebook and LinkedIn. There's also WPS Office for your documents needs, as well as the Opera browser, which I haven't used in a while, but used to be a fan of years ago. 
You also get the Chrome browser together with the rest of the Google Apps suite like YouTube, Gmail, Google Maps, etc. Really handy. You also get some other functionality like Google Assistant and the news feed, as well as the dark mode. As I was wrapping the video up, I randomly checked for software updates. Lo and behold, the next major version of MIUI 12 was available. Some of the main improvements include redesigned interface and animations, dynamic wallpapers, improved privacy protection, floating windows, and split screen improvements, improved night mode, simplified settings, and a number of other improvements, as well as the June 2020 security update. Happy days, it should make my experience with the device better going forward. So far, I'm quite happy with the software experience. What's most important for me is the smooth experience. And that's been the case so far. So no complaints from me just yet. What's more, the battery life has been great for the last couple of days. So let's hope it stays like this. That's it for this video. We're playing some more F2 Pro content, including a case unboxing, game performance impressions, camera performance, and in a few weeks, a full review of the device. So make sure you subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks to not miss any of them. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and let us know if you have any suggestions for specific F2 Pro coverage. But for now, thanks for watching, goodbye!